For New Jersey Advanced Media, I am Connor Hughes here at the Atlantic Health Training Facility where the Jets are well underway here in Training Camp 2016 with the culmination of practice number six. And with that, here are your three stars from today's outing. At star number three, we're going to go with a guy who has had a pretty good camp to this point, but today was the best practice of that good camp, and that's Jets tight end Jace Amaro. Amaro made a really nice grab down the seam from quarterback Geno Smith. Came back a series later and caught a touchdown from Ryan Fitzpatrick with the first team. Now, Amaro still is number two on the depth chart behind Kellen Davis, but he is working his way in there with the starting unit. And it wouldn't surprise me to see him take over that starting job sooner rather than later. At star number two, we're going to go with a guy who stood out for one play, and that's Jets nose tackle Steve McClendon. McClendon filling in, obviously, for Damon Harrison, who's now with the Giants, made the hit of camp when he beat Brian Winters off the line in a full contact 11-on-11 drill and smacked running back Dominique Williams just as he got the handoff. Right after the hit, the entire defensive line went absolutely nuts, screaming, yelling, and jumping on top of, on top of him. Without a doubt, the first huge pop of camp so far. And at star number one, we're going to go with a guy who bounced back in a big way today after a very uh, off of a lot of struggles on Tuesday, and that was quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick. In the first team drill, Fitzpatrick went three straight plays, or I'm sorry, three of his four passes all went for touchdowns. The first one, a long one down the seam to Kellen Davis. The second one, a perfect ball that was dropped in the hands of Brandon Marshall. And the third one, a long pass to Bilal Powell on a wheel route. So for that, Ryan Fitzpatrick is our number one star from today's out. Here in Florham Park with the Jets, I am Connor Hughes.